guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for Friday, October 2nd. And my little kitty Mau Mau needs a little love bug. They're so abused. Mommy works too much. Whew. Okay, so the moon in Gemini is going to be sextiling Uranus and Aries. And I dig this energy. This is going to make them extreme. It's going to just make your emotional barometer extremely enthusiastic, very childlike, very forward thinking, and very, you're just going to be a charmer to be around if you really tap into all of this, this emotional childlike energy that's just pulsating in the universe today. Um, I also really like today that Saturn and Sagittarius is going to sextile the sun in Libra and it's going to sextile Mercury and Libra. Both of those are working together. So Saturn, Sagittarius is a blast too. Gemini and Sagittarius are like kick ass time. Go, let's go play. Let's go have a good time. And so I think the energy is going to be highly, it's just buzzing. It's really emotionally charged. Now, yes, there's a downside to those energies, and I will get to them, but I kind of dig the energy sources today. So, the, I, I, okay, so here's, here's what can happen when you have Sagittarian energy buzzed up like it is, right? And, and Saturn's not holding it back, so there's no control over the energy. And then you've got your moon and Gemini emotionally charging you, very, very enthusiastic. You can be very dualistic today, right? And equally so, not you, you can actually be one way one minute, one way the next minute. And you know what? You're equally enthusiastic about both of those revenues because you're in sextile. You're not, you're very mutable in your thinking. So, you could come up against, and I, I don't think the problem is going to lie from within. Um, I think the problem is from everybody else. I think you're going to get some backlash from everybody else. And so, and, and I want to say it's absolutely heart-based. It's going to be a heart-based person, somebody that you really uh, love, adore, or are thinking about starting a future with. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be somebody on that level that may not take a look at may not like this enthusiastic approach to life. So Saturn and Sagittarius is gonna square off with Venus and Leo, and um, I think that that is it, it's funny because I drew the Gemini card today. So uh, this is your Gemini card. Can get it in here. See, there's a Gemini card, but it's in challenge, right? Um, and it's in square, so it, it makes sense to me that it was it's in a challenge position. And um, Venus is we're kind of at this point, it's it's we're it's based on the past. So we're looking back at the past, and we could be overly optimistic about a past-based endeavor or a past creative endeavor or a past relationship. We could I, you know what we could be doing? We could be rosing it, making it rosier than it is, right? So what we could be enthusiastic about some forward thinking, um, but we could be not looking at it in the light that it truly was left or in the light that it truly, that we truly need to deal with the situation. It's like we're almost looking at it from a Neptunian perspective and we're not we're not facing the reality of where we left off with it or 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 what some of the real issues were because we're just enthusiastic we have an childlike enthusiasm about a situation or creative endeavor um, or something that we poured a lot of passion in our heart into so um that can make a very for a very challenging uh, day. <sighs> I think we might be blindsided today by some of the flack that we get because we're enthusiastic, right? We're plugged in. We've got all this childlike enthusiasm and we're really thinking about our, our passion and forward thinking. And a lot of this could be very heart based and very earth based, very, very much around 
just, um, you know, bygones be bygones. We're kind of like in that mode. I feel that tremendously. Um, I think we're, I think we're, we're rosing over how hard we've got to work to get to where we need to go. And some of that reality checks could be unpleasant for, uh, for us to face from people. Um, and I kind of think that, you know, I think that we're anticipating something that is not based solely on the situation. It's like we thought, it's like we want this outcome and we see it being really fruitful, but I think the reality of it is it's probably a lot smaller than we think. And, and you know, this is, that's very Neptunian thinking. It's very Gemini thinking. They, they, you know, Sagittarius can get caught up in this energy. It's all about fun. It's all about a good time. It's all about, um, you know, broadening your perspective and so walking about too much and getting yourself into way too much trouble. And, you know, it's like you don't think of the the longevity of what you're doing. You're just really caught up in the energy in the present. And so for some of you, that can get you into a bit of trouble today. And it can make you defensive about, um, because Neptune in Pisces is going to be quincunxing the sun in Libra today. So if somebody challenges some of your enthusiastic belief systems, right, you're going to be like, what the frack is the matter with you? Like, don't you see what I see? Like, it's amazing. And, you know, it, your, your perspective is going to be challenged. And, and I think that's good because we want to keep you grounded. Like, I, I know what it's like to get really caught up in really beautiful energy and we just feel like we want to take what we have right now and move forward with it. And let's just stop thinking. Let's stop contemplating. Let's stop living in our heads. And, you know, let's just, you know, I know this happened in our past, but this is our future. And you're going to have that kind of conversations with people. You're very, you're very Aryan today, right? Your emotions are very forward, very impulsive, very excitable, very, um, you're thinking out the box and you want everybody to be on board with this thinking because it's, it's really truly just a, a highly jazzed time. I don't, I just don't think that everybody can get on board with that. Doesn't it look like I have a tail sticking out of my neck? <laughs> you can't see my cat. There's my cat. <laughs> Sorry. So Gemini energy busting out of this reading, but, um, I think that ego is definitely going to get in the way of what's going on today because you don't want to be questioned. You don't want to think on it on the level that people are asking you to think about it on. And you're going to get blindsided. I truly believe by something that comes up past based, possibly in a heart based endeavor or creative endeavor or past relationship really kind of might bring stuff out. You, it might be an unexpected thing that happens to shake up everything. Um, so I, I want to say that Gemini energy is going to be challenged today. So your emotional barometer, um, your emotional enthusiasm, your childlike energy is going to be challenged today. Um, definitely by something having to do with your heart. Um, or somebody having to do with who has control over your heart. I just see it. Um, it's kind of a weird reading because it's weird energy. And um, I just want you to know that where you're really missing the boat on all of this energy is it takes hard work to get to where you're wanting to go. Where you're, you like want it right now, right? You want this right now. You don't have the patience for it or the time or because you just see the outcome. And so you want it right now. But I, I, I want to say that if you have this belief system, you are going to live in a state of challenge today and you are going to have somebody pull, um, down, pull you down and it's going to be an ego blow today and it might take away some of this enthusiasm and it might bring about some defensive behavior or some 
um, poor coping methods because you're like, you, you might feel defeated today. Even though it's a day full of wonderful energy, I think you're overly optimistic about the energy today. And um, we're overly optimistic about uh, a heart-based endeavor, overly optimistic about uh, a, a person from your past or love or something like that. And um, I think you might get a little bit of an ego blow today. And that's okay. Don't let these days get to you. I love the energy in today. It's a dualistic day, right? Some of you could have a fracking fabulous day, you know? And um, there could be, you know what? It could be just full of trines, easygoing energy, and maybe you just get enthusiastic and you don't get anybody on board. I would say today is still a day to hold back. Don't move forward. And Mercury's still in a retrograde. And Neptune is in conjunct, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Neptune is um, quincunxing the, the sun in Libra. So just don't make a lot of decisions today. Today is not the day to do that. Dualistic energy is very faulty energy. It's going to make you overly optimistic or not look at the situation correctly. And you're going to take an ego hit if you let your uh, emotions get you too overly optimistic. Thank you guys so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.